Yes, my master. But, uh, all right. All right, guys. Uh, Ryan's here to detail his version of the UA deck because of all mine that I've been talking about. It's, it's got him wanting to do a deck profile. <laughs> you told me, you're like, I'm so jealous of your channel. Right. It's what I, I right. want to do. Because I believe it was my UAs that gave you the idea. Shut up, Never Ryan. Mind. Don't worry about it. Stop it. Continue. Stop talking. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> so this is his deck. It's right here. And and that that's the profile, right? Yep, pretty much. Right there. Midfielder, can, that's all you need. That's all you need. It's actually... It's, it's not far from the truth. It's not far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, without that, the deck is pretty bad, so yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Let's get started. Cool. First off, yeah. Free midfielder. Um, he is the only normal summonable. Uh, without tribute UA, so he's the one that gets everything going. So yeah, you do need him. Nice. Uh, three ace. Okay. He's your, uh, during your opponent's turn, pretty much herald perfection, discard a card, negate any effect. Um, he really prevents your opponent from doing much of anything. Uh, I am running two slugger. Slugger is uh, also a one way armadis. Yay. <clears throat> when he attacks, card effects can't be activated until the end of the damage step. So, Burning Abyss, Shadal's. Valkyrus can activate. Uh, the one-offs, Goalkeeper. Okay. Uh, once per turn, he can't be destroyed during your opponent's turn. Uh, blockbacker can be activated during either player's turn. He negates a special summon monster's effect and changes the battle position. Uh, doesn't target. Uh, playmaker gives a, when a UA attacks, he loses 800 and gives it to the other UA. Uh, it's not once per turn, so you can attack and do a whole bunch of damage. Okay. Um, first mini engine I'm running is Jinlock. Okay. Um, it's pretty much all you need to perform Jinlock. If you don't know what Jinlock is, basically yeah. your opponent can't special summon with this thing up for you. <clears throat> um, kind of the way to get at the Jin is the Newly limited tour guide. <laughs> that would really hurt. Uh, very sad to see her go to one. Uh, and then the three Burning Abyss card. I'm running two Skarm and one Graf. Uh, if I draw into her, I usually grab Graf, and Graf goes to the graveyard, grabs a Skarm, Skarm searches out Jin. Uh, actually, oh, and the Skarms usually give me discard Potter for Ace. Um, on to the spells, because Midfielder is so important. Uh, running three Rotas. Mm -hmm. uh, Rota also grabs Clausalus. So you can grab Clausalus, then you can discard Clausalus to get the, the summon spell. And that's that's kind of neat how well that works. Uh, that was in the other profile as well. Um, three Terraforming. Okay. For the triple stadium. Yeah. Uh, stadium is your Black Whirlwind, uh, Black Wings, uh, Normal Summon Surge, and then when a UA is Special Summon, all monsters on board gain 500. Which is really nice when you can beef up another random monster that you have. Uh, for instance, like Downer Magician, who does piercing damage, which is kind of cool. Uh, Jersey is pretty much a game stealer. You will be in the middle of losing a game, drop Jersey, and win the game. Uh, equipped to Slugger, you can attack twice, deal double damage if you do it against a monster, um, and they can activate effects. So I've got New Jersey. Attached to Slugger, he's a 3800 beater, attacks twice, and if it's anything less than 1700, that's game. Because it doubles the damage. And then you win. Um, triple Supply Squad. <clears throat> this is really cool with the Burning Abyss because they destroy themselves with mm -hmm. other monsters. So if you can grab, um, so if you detach Graph, he grabs Skarm, Skarm destroys himself, and you draw a card. Yeah. And then search at the end of the turn for the Skarm. So. It's a pretty hard plus. Uh, running two Forbidden Lance. All right. Uh, this is the, one of the newer additions to the deck. Um, the UAs are very, very weak during your turn uh, because most of the effects are only activated during your opponent's turn. So I need some protection. This is great against breakthrough skills or regeki. I want to use. use. Yeah. Um, protects tour guide, so I'm more likely guaranteed to get that search off. It doesn't get changed. Because mm -hmm. with one tour guy, it's kind of important. 
Um, now to the one-offs. I'm running one Book of Moon. Okay. Good. One Foolish Burial that ditches either Graph or Jin to kind of get things going. Uh, the one Regeki. And the one Monarch Stormforth for the, uh, the fives and six. Um, very good for getting rid of problem monsters that can't be targeted. Uh, one that I put back in from an earlier build is Chain Summoning. I know this was in Dave's UA build, but honestly, you can resolve this so easily with UAs and uh, go super plus. It's a blow up. It really is. Uh, and then finally, the three traps I'm running are Royal Decree. <laughs> Anti traps. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I hate back row. I hate traps. Uh, break two really hurts. Fiendish really hurts. Uh, Satellers all their back rows. Yusenju's all their back row. Ritual Beast all their back row. So I I really like the the drop slugger with confidence. That's not the bottomless differential. Yeah, that's the worst because <clears throat> you know he's pretty resistant to back row when he attacks, mm -hmm. but it's it's when he it's summons on the summon very long. Uh, really sucks. So uh, you know dropping dropping this really. Uh, and it's also a face up continuous card, so it's like, oh, what do I MST? Do I MST the world decree so I can use all my traps? Or do I MST the stadium or the supply squad? Or you draw some MST. Uh, definitely, especially uh, when no one's maining three anymore. That's what I'm kind of banking on. Yeah. So, um, the reason for the tour guide is Invoker. Uh, going to him, two level threes. You can detach and summon a level four warrior monster, Earth warrior monster. Guess what midfielder is? <laughs> um, only reason you only reason. And then uh, Downard is for the rest of the, the rank trees. You can just overlay over the, the rank trees. Those are the important ones. I'm kind of a big brilliant value card to finish a game. Uh, he's interesting because with us, because the stadium boosts everyone 500, so he can go up to 2000 and then you detach and he doubles his attack. So when I can attack actually with him, uh, and he's a 4000 beater, which is <laughs> surprising. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, one Zen mains. Just if I have no other play. It's your, I can't do anything else. Pretty much. He's, he's pretty good because he destroys something, so... Me. And then just some... Toolbox. Rank 4 Toolbox. Uh, I found it locals. I was going into time, so I just figured... <laughs> you might as well have that have cowboy. A couple, have a couple in there just to try to get their life points down. Uh, one Rebellion Dragon, and then the one uh, Shark Fortress. I found that... I might have this last time, but this combo... Will it's win so you derpy. Will, is derpy and will win you a game if you, if you uh, really quick. Um, it's, he lets a monster attack twice and he does direct damage. So he does, he does target shark fortress. Swing I target target nightmare shark with shark fortress and target nightmare shark with nightmare shark. Uh, and then with a single stadium boost, this is five thousand. <laughs> so I've done it once. You've done it once. That's all that matters. <laughs> do it once. Justifies the spot. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty much. And I, I really have no other. Re I, I don't know if that's even fifteen, but whatever. <laughs> um, for my side, I'm running three Lancia. All right. Uh, like I said, I really don't like Ritual Beasts, and that really hurts them. And it also hurts Necro a little bit. Drop that in response to. That's good. In, that's good in Trish. the grind. Huh? But that's good in the grind. Yeah, drop that against Trish, or when they have an open field and they can't search out their spells. Which yeah. Uh, I'm running three Flying C for these uh, XE heavy decks. So Tellers, Peril, Beasts, uh, Burning Abyss, really good. Uh, Max C, <clears throat> for obvious reasons. I'm actually siding three MSTs. Um, I figured the Royal Decree should take care of most of the problem cards. Uh, yeah, the only, in Lance, and the only cards I find myself wanting MST for is like. Fisher and, and uh, continuous spells. Gotcha. So, yeah. uh, the one book of Eclipse for Jinlock. I'll slide that in. Who likes the Jinlock? Not too many Necros players anymore at levels. There. And then uh, finally, the three Light Prison Years. Because I can play it, and Star Seraph was released. True. So, Shells <laughs> and, and uh, Satellite Knights are going to be a thing. Too bit shadows. Yeah. For a cop. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It's too bit. Five so, bucks for a cop. This is, uh, it definitely helps against some random decks like Light Sworn and Light Sworn. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that's the deck profile. Uh, Dave should have some replays I sent him, so enjoy them. Ooh. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.